Welcome back to another video on Meraki Mamahood where I share bits and pieces of motherhood and how I steward my home. Today we're diving into cloth diapers, my cloth diapering routine, how I store them, how I store the dirty ones, how I wash them, all of the things cloth diapers. So I'm just going to just jump right in. I've been cloth diapering for right around a year. I have tried countless <laughs> methods of washing and storing and I think after the last seven months I really think that I have nailed down my preferred method for washing and for storage and so I just wanted to share that with you today because I get a lot of questions about how I wash them, how I store them, what I use to wash them. So before I get to any of that, I wanted to clarify the type of diapers that I'm talking about are pocket diapers. I got the Nora's Nursery brand. You take the liner and it has a pocket. You stick the liner into the pocket. I started out cloth diapering one baby <laughs> and then it became two, and so I am currently cloth diapering two babies, and hopefully soon that will be one baby again, but right now it is two, so it is a little bit more work than it was in the beginning. I used to pre-stuff them, so it was just easy to grab and put it on my oldest, but then when the baby came along, she needed to have one liner, and my oldest needed to have two liners, so I just stopped pre-stuffing them, so I store a stack of these and a stack of these and I just grab however many liners I need and however many shells that I need and it seems to be working really well. Before we get to the whole washing part of it, um, let's just go through the life of a cloth diaper. A cloth diaper will be stuffed and it will be used and if it is used by my youngest, she is exclusively breastfed. And when your baby is exclusively breastfed, you do not have to wash the poop out of the diapers. You can if you want to, but you don't have to because it is completely water soluble. And so I personally, I, I don't rinse her diapers. I would take the shell, it's poopy. I take the liner out, I roll it up, and I put it in one of the... Nora's Nursery sends the wet dry bags. And I just put it in that, and then in the bathroom, we have a trash can that I put those bags in. It kind of helps conceal any extra smell a little bit um, so that the bathroom <laughs> doesn't smell terrible to any guests or to us. So for the baby, I unstuff it and I put it in one of those bags and I put it in the trash can. With my oldest, she is two, so she has poops that need to be washed down the toilet. What I have for that is I got a sprayer called the Spray Pal off of Amazon. We attached it to the toilet and I also got a spray shield. It has a clip in it. You just clip the diaper in, you spray the poop out, and then you're good to go. No dunking it in the toilet or anything like that. That's the easiest method that I have found to rinse poopy diapers out <laughs> before storing them and I store hers the same exact way. She poops, I take the liner out and I rinse the poop and then it all goes into those wet dry bags and I can fit about six to seven diapers, used diapers, in a wet dry bag. When it comes time to washing, I wash them about every other day. That's usually about four to five wet dry bags of diapers. I will take those to the washer, empty the wet dry bags out, turn the wet dry bags inside out and wash them as well. Now we're moving on to the washing method. When it comes to washing the cloth diapers, I do a three wash method. The first wash is a heavy duty wash on cold with an extra soak in the beginning. This is just to give them a, a thorough rinsing before you get to the washing process. To this wash, I add a third cup of baking soda and then once that is done, I do another wash on heavy duty as well, but no soak. I add a third cup of baking soda and two scoops of the unscented original Molly Sud laundry detergent. And I do that on like a warm to hot water. 
The third wash is just an extra rinse to make sure that there isn't any detergent residue buildup on the diapers because that's not going to be comfortable for the baby's bum. So you want to make sure all of that is rinsed out of the diaper. So I do an extra rinse just for good measure on that. If it is a larger load, I will do it on heavy duty. If it is a smaller load, I will simply do a normal wash, short wash, rinse, and I add about a third cup of baking soda to that as well to help draw any of that extra detergent out. After that third wash, I prefer not to put the cloth diapers in the dryer. I feel like putting it in the dryer and putting that heat on it kind of adds a little extra wear and tear to the diapers. We're not done having babies yet, so I want these diapers to last us. Um, sometimes I will put the liners in the dryer on like tumble dry just to fluff them up a little bit because they can get a little like crunchy you know when you line dry stuff it can get a little a little crunchy so just to make them a little bit softer i'll stick them in the dryer on tumble dry after that third wash i have a clothing rack that i ordered off of amazon and i will also link that down below i find that for a typical wash i can fit all of the diapers and liners on that one drying rack now it will take those diapers about 24 or more hours to fully dry, especially the liners. The shells, they'll dry pretty quickly, but the liners take a little while to dry. I have like double the amount of liners that I would use in those previous two days so that while those are drying, I still have diapers that I can use for my girls. Pretty much when I go through half or a little bit more of my diapers, I will wash them so that I still have some left that I can use for the girls while the other diapers dry and then we just rotate like that. Once the diapers are dry, I store them away and I have stored the diapers so many ways. Right now I have one basket that has liners and one basket that has shells. I would like to thrift a larger basket. I wanted to be really real in this video and show you how it's working for me so I did not go buy a perfect little basket to put these in just for the video. After you store them, the process starts all over. You're stuffing diapers, you're cleaning them, you're washing them, you're hanging them, you're putting them away. So that is pretty much my entire cloth diapering routine for the daily use. There are some frequently asked questions that I would like to address. One of those is, <laughs> do the diapers get stinky? Yes, they do get stinky, and that is when you know that you need to strip your diapers. I will do a different video on exactly how I strip my diapers. I strip the diapers about every three months because you get that ammonia buildup in the liners of the diaper, and um, it doesn't smell good, and it doesn't feel good for the baby's bum. So if you start to notice that smell, it's time to strip your diapers again. And keep in mind that my routine includes having soft water. I cannot offer tips on hard water. I only know it with soft water, and I know that it's easier to use soft water because you don't have the mineral buildup. If you have hard water, definitely look into some videos or do some research online on how to make that work. Um, but that's not something that I can speak into. Another frequently asked question is, doesn't it make your washer kind of gross? <laughs> no, it does not. I haven't experienced that my washer is nasty. And I think that's because I use a three wash method. Nothing's left over. There's that extra rinse that just kind of gets everything out of the washer. I do clean my washer here and there. It could be dirty if I just never cleaned it, but um, I do keep my washer in pretty good shape. Another frequently asked question is, does it really save money if you are washing diapers so much? The answer to that is yes, it does save money. We are spending money on the water and the soap to wash the diapers, but in the end, it is way less than what we would be spending on diapers for both of the girls. Another question, if you're struggling with stains on your cloth diapers, put them in the sun to sun bleach them. And if there are stains, be sure not to wash them in hot water first because that's going to set the stain. You're going to want to wash it well on cold and then sun bleach it. And that should draw the stain out of the diaper. This goes for shells and liners. I hope that this video answered some of your cloth diapering questions. And if I didn't cover any of the questions that you might have, go ahead and comment it down below and I will answer it. I know that I just jumped in and threw a lot of information at you. 
at one time. But thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.